My name is Kayan Yao and I study nuclear engineering here at MIT. I'm currently a senior. I realized in middle school that I was interested and particularly good at science and math and I didn't really think too much about it. In March 2011, Fukushima Daiichi, um, that incident occurred. I heard about that incident, really didn't know what nuclear energy was, so I asked my physics professor to explain it to me. He also told us like what nuclear energy is um, and what are its benefits? He mentioned that it's in a clean source of energy, carbon-free, incredibly robust, really powerful, and might be a really good solution for the um, energy crisis that we're currently living in. So right now I'm working in the Balietto CFD lab. Um, so CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. Any nuclear reactor that is operating has really um, chaotic, turbulent, high-pressurized, high-temperature, just really bizarre flow fields that are hard to compute mathematically unless you're using something like CFD. So my goal within the group is to be able to quantify the uncertainty that's associated with the computational fluid dynamic calculations. This is important because when we are building a new reactor, we have to be able to tell the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or the NRC, exactly how a reactor will behave under all circumstances, whether that's normal operating or accident scenarios. Fluid turbulence is a multi-physics problem um, that has a lot of different factors playing into it. Um, it's non-uniform, really hard to characterize, and so therefore it still exists as a problem that we don't have a clear or concise solution to. Um, so I think that's really interesting because with CFD, with computational fluid dynamics, you're able to see and understand how turbulence behaves in ways that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Um, so I think that's really exciting. People always joke that CFD is half art and half science, and I am still working on the whole half art thing. You need a lot of experience to understand that the answers that you're getting are correct. You can spit out a really beautiful answer, but that beautiful answer can be completely wrong. So understanding and recognizing that is probably the biggest challenge for me now. In the future, I really hope to be working in a nuclear reactor research and design group. Building and designing advanced reactors is the whole reason I came to MIT, honestly. I want to pursue the clean energy future. Here at MIT, I also participate in the glass bowling lab. So I am currently in the intermediate class, aka my third semester in glass bowling. So my first thing that I created in the lab was actually this. Um, so it looks kind of goofy, but it is basically a uranium-235 mid-fission, or at least that's what I think it is. Um, so the little blue dot is a neutron inducing that fission, um, and these are the two segments that basically split apart when uh, isotope is undergoing fission.